I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw the Taj Mahal. I'm going to take three fingers in the center and put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a curve line down, out, and in. Come back to the dot, curve line down, out, and in. Come back to the left and let's draw a slightly curved line over and connect. Come on the left hand side, draw a straight line down, right hand side, straight line down, come back to the left, slightly curved line over, and connect. Come back to the left again, straight line down, straight line over, straight line down, connect. Right at this bottom line, we're going to draw a straight line out to the left and a straight line out to the right. Okay, come back inside this space and we're just going to draw a straight line down, straight line over, straight line down, connect. Right inside we put a dot. On the left hand side we're going to draw a curved line down, straight line down, connect. Come back to the dot, curve line down, straight line down, connect. Now we're going to mimic this straight line straight line over, straight line down, connect. Starting on the right hand side, right about here we're just going to draw a straight line out, straight line down, connect on the right, come on the left, straight line out, straight line down, connect. In the center, straight line down on the right, straight line down on the left. Okay. Come back over here to the right and we are going to put a dot. We're going to draw a straight line, curve line, straight line, connect. And now we're going to draw straight line down, straight line down. Come up a little bit, put a dot. We're going to draw a curve line, straight line, straight line down, straight line down, connect. Come on the right hand, I mean the left hand side, we're going to do it again. We're going to try and keep it equal. Put a dot, straight line, curve line, straight line down, connect, straight line down, connect. Try and keep this equal. Put a dot, straight line, curve line, straight line, connect, straight line down, straight line down. Okay. Come right here on this space. And we're going to draw a straight diagonal off the page. Come on this side, straight diagonal off the page. Mimic that line again. Straight diagonal on the right, off the page. Straight diagonal down, off the page, on the left. Now, we're going to come up and do curve line, curve line, connect, one. Curve line, curve line, connect, two. Curve line, curve line, three. Curve line four, curve line connect five. Jump over, we're going to do the same thing over here. Curve line, curve line connect one, curve line, curve line two, curve line, curve line three, curve line, curve line four, curve line, curve line five. Okay. Now, we're going to start filling in things. Come over here and put a straight line, straight line on the left, right, left, one, two, on the right, and right here in the center, straight line. We're going to put little curve line, little curve line. Okay. Come back to the left. We're going to draw a straight line and inside curve line, connect, straight line, inside curve line, connect. Jump over. Straight line, curve line, straight line, connect. Curve line, straight line, connect. Now add another straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line. 
Come down a little way, straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. Come up to the top. We're just going to put straight line, straight line, straight line, connect, and put a straight line on top. Come on the right, straight line, straight line, straight line, little straight line on top. Come back to the left. We're going to draw one, two, three straight lines, but above we put a dot and we're going to draw a curve line out, connect, curve line out, connect. Come in on the right hand side, straight line, straight line, straight line, connect, right above, put a dot, curve line out, curve line out, connect. Put a little straight line up, up, connect. Now come inside these spaces, put a dot, and we're going to draw a curve line, straight line, curve line, connect, put a dot, curve line, straight line, curve line, straight line, put a dot, curve line, straight line, curve line, put a dot, curve line, straight line, curve line, connect, jump over, now do this side, put a dot, Curve line, straight line, curve line, connect, put a dot, curve line, straight line, curve line, put a dot, curve line, straight line, curve line, put a dot, curve line, straight line, curve line, connect. Okay, let me see, I think that's all, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, the Taj Mahal is basically white ivory marble. But if you want to put a little bit of color on it, you can use like an apricot or a peach and just add a couple of lines of color. You don't have to color the whole thing in. Just a couple of lines of color. And they even say that, depending on what time of day it is, it will change colors from pink to white to gold depending on how the sun is. So I'm just going to put a little bit of color on mine, but you don't have to is basically what I'm saying. Okay? Now, inside these indentations, these are windows, in order to show that they're set, I'm just going to take a little bit of brown and I'm just going to put it along the edge just so that you know it's indentation when you color just a little bit not a lot just to give you a little bit of a demarcation of what we're doing okay oops I forgot a window hold on these should have a little window inside and you can put a little bit of black, uh, brown. Okay. Now, the rest of this is pretty easy. There is some green. These are trees or bushes or a little bit of green. So I'm using my regular green for this section. Then to show contrast, I'm using a yellow green to color in this section. Okay? Just to cover up all of that white. And, like I said, depending on what time of day it is, this is the edge of the reflecting pool that is in front of the Taj Mahal. So I'm going to do this pink. And then I'm using my blue green, my turquoise. This is the reflecting pool, so I gotta color this all in turquoise or blue green. You'll do a better job than me. And then it's set by itself against the sky. So all of this section needs to be turquoise or blue green. You can use regular blue. If you've got fancy crayons, you can use indigo or cerulean. But this whole section needs to be blue. 
because it really stands out high contrast against the sky it's a beautiful building okay let's see what this looks like all colored in okay here's the Taj Mahal all colored in it took 22 years to build it's a mausoleum for Shah Jahan's third wife Muntaz Mahal which I'm probably saying incorrectly and I thought what was interesting, it took a thousand elephants to transport the marble to the site. Okay, bye-bye.